Welcome back to AIGentic Bros, and today we are going to be going over an N8N agent that actually helps me personalize my LinkedIn outreach. Now, I'm currently running an outreach and messaging campaign to different N8N and AI automation creators and professionals on LinkedIn. So I built this workflow to help me out. First, um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. We're not going for flash. We're not going for these big, complicated flows. Uh, I want to keep it as straightforward as possible. Obviously, there can be a lot of different iterations, but this is my first uh, working production-ready flow, uh, and it's already done some good work for me, right? Uh, and before we hop into it, please, if you're a beginner with AI, you want to learn how to start making money with AI, check out our AI starter kit. Uh, link is in the comments. We go over the basics of AI, kind of pull back the curtains with LLMs. Then we go over best practices for prompt engineering. And then lastly, we go over how to build out your AI toolkit, your AI toolbox, uh, and how to kind of start making money with AI. We also have a web app launching AI Gent Desk, which is an AI automation troubleshooting tool uh, that'll help you kind of build out more complex flows, specifically with N8N, it's a great tool. We've helped a lot of people in different school communities uh, in the N8N Reddit, but just kind of by answering their questions, helping them troubleshoot their issues. And we just we decided to kind of go public with this tool. So let's hop right into this flow. I decided to start with uh, an on-form submission. Just keep it nice, keep it simple. Um, just kind of have, you know, form title, LinkedIn profile, uh, have, you know, just simple text element. Obviously, there are different element types for the submission box for the form that you can have a drop down list, you can have them put in uh, an email specifically, uh, you can have a text area if you're kind of expecting maybe longer paragraphs or something like that, a password if you kind of want, you know, your form or whatever's behind your form to be password protected. Uh, usually for simple stuff like this, I tend to go with just a text box. Um, no authentication needed. And right now I'm running this off of my locally hosted instance, just so I can kind of have this form myself, right? Um, so ideally, uh, you would be copy pasting uh, a LinkedIn profile URL, throwing that into the form uh, submission trigger node, then that URL gets taken to this code node, which is just a simple uh, bit of code that I had Gemini 2.5 Pro come up with. Uh, basically, what it does is that because the API just needs specifically the username from the LinkedIn profile, uh, all it does, it looks at the URL and then just extracts the username from the end of the URL. And this is the actual API. So I'm actually using this real time LinkedIn scraper from Rapid API, which is just another API marketplace, much like Appify. A lot of people uh, tend to use Appify. Um, I've actually used that platform before, but I've also uh, discovered this rapid API is another great marketplace for finding different APIs. Uh, and the good thing about this specific uh, LinkedIn scraper is that you can actually uh, subscribe to a plan for free. Okay, we can actually take a look at the plan here. So it's about 50 credits per month. Um, about 75 requests per month. So that's actually pretty good for a basic free plan. Uh, you can move on to $5 a month or $8 a month for the API. If you want to scale up your outreach, but for now, for what I'm trying to do, this 75 uh, requests a month is more than enough, right? Okay, so let's go back to the API and basically the endpoint that I'm going to be using uh, is get profile data. And it makes it very easy. All you have to do is go ahead copy the curl command, you go into the HTTP node, and then you go ahead and import curl, which I already have done here. Uh, it goes ahead, fills out all the authentication, all the fields below. All I had to do was make sure that output from the code node is named LinkedIn username. Uh, I have that JSON typed in here. So basically it just pulls the username from the code node, uh, and then it'll go ahead uh, and scrape um, the profile that I've provided it with, right? That's there, it goes to my AI agent, which is run off of GPT-40 Mini. Just a simple model, nothing crazy. We just need some basic preliminary outreach messages. Uh, we, take, we can take a look at the agent. Um, right now I'm giving it the summary from the LinkedIn profile, the headline that's scraped, and then also the skills that are scraped. I'm kind of playing around uh, with what the different information that I want to give to the agent so it can kind of have a better message 
to that profile. And then we can take a look at my system message. Um, this is actually an agent specifically designed for AI Gen Desk outreach. So I have it trained on the branding and messaging of AI Gen Desk, our AI automation troubleshooting tool that was mentioned earlier in the video. Um, just kind of some basic stuff. Your primary objective is to execute the first phase of an outreach campaign on LinkedIn. Your task is to write a personalized initial message to a given NADN influencer, power user, or automation expert to generate genuine interest in AI Gen Desk. Right. So uh, I won't go into the you know overall messaging and branding of the tool, um, but you know that's kind of some basic stuff that I wanted my agent. Uh, to kind of be trained on, right? Uh, I, if you don't know, the LinkedIn API is extremely difficult to work with. Uh, it's very hard. Me personally, I've had a lot of trouble trying to kind of get it up and running. So I found that actually storing the username uh, and the full, fully completed message in Google Sheets makes it a lot easier. Then I'll go ahead and send the message manually. Uh, obviously, I'm always looking for a workaround. I'm always looking at a way to automate it. But this way, it keeps my LinkedIn profile uh, away from actually, you know, having any uh, issues. Uh, it's not going to get flagged. Um, you know, the API is not hooked up to my LinkedIn profile in any way. So this just kind of makes it easier uh, and a lot less risk with this entire process, right? Because LinkedIn is pretty strict about their scraping rules um, and their policies concerning that, right? So I just kind of store it in a Google Sheets just something easy um you know the initial username that we pulled from the code node uh, and then the output from the agent um we just you know kind of in a simple google sheet i can go ahead and show you all that so here is the personalized message obviously the biggest nadn creator out right now it's either nick strive or nate herc so i went ahead and tested it with nate herc's profile and you know this is the message that it came up with Hi, Nate, I've been following your work with AI Automation Society, which is his school community, and your mission to make AI accessible is truly inspiring. Your insights on no-code tools and the applications of AI in automating, work and in automating workflows resonate with many in the community. It highlights how crucial it is to simplify complex automations without getting lost in cryptic error message or lengthy execution logs. We've all faced those challenges before. My team is building AI Gen Desk specifically for the NADN community to tackle this. It is an AI agent trained on NADN's documentation to help users troubleshoot their workflows quickly and effectively. As a leader in AI and automation, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think tools like this could empower users to build more confidently? Best Alex, right? So um, there's a few things I do have to change in the system message. I don't want it ending with best Alex. I would like it ending in, in my name, you know, kind of a personalized message. That's the whole point of it. Um, Obviously, there's a few different tweaks, but this is a simple uh, flow that I found uh, that is going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to this launch of AI Gen Desk. I'm going to be reaching out to about 15 to 20 influencers initially, um, and then my plan is to kind of go around, uh, go through my connections, reach out to them, and I'll run them all through this flow. Uh, it'll make it easier. Obviously, I'm going to vet every message. I'm not just going to start churning out AI messages. Um, once I do hone in on the system prompt for the agent, then I'll start throwing in a few profiles at a time and seeing kind of how it works. It's all about testing, iterating, uh, and then scaling eventually. Uh, again, if you're a beginner to AI, or if you're just getting into any den or automations, check out AI Gen Desk, our AI automation troubleshooting tool. Uh, and then also, if you're a complete beginner to AI, check out our AI starter kit. Link is in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be making a lot more content like this. Thank you for watching.